And this is the NFL on EA Sports. Today's game features a team that can get it done on the ground. The Lions are top 10 in rushing TDs, and they'll go up against that Jaguars defense that needs to be ready for that. With that, let's get up to Ford Field in Detroit. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, first open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit. Today, we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Detroit Lions. And with a new rule, that decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he only gets to the 20. Again, we'll see the pistol here. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And now the starting lineup for the offense. And Julius Thomas highlighted, my friend. Brandon, he's one of the latest in a long line of basketball players turned football players who have had great success. And he uses those basketball skills to get open in his pass routes. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. So certainly not the start they were looking for here as they come up on a third and 14. On third and long, it's Bortles. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. Give him two yards on that play, and that'll bring up fourth down. 
So on fourth down, the Jags send out Brad Nortman to punt. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. And there's a flag on the play. And he takes it all the way, but there is laundry on the field. A flag is down. And I think this one's coming back. I agree. When you've got a guy that fast back there to receive punts, that's a nightmare for the guy game planning, the special teams coach. It's also a nightmare for the punter. Sometimes they get so nervous that they miss hit the ball and kick it right to him. This is Chris Pohl. He's going to take this one down to about the 46-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Really tough drive, but that run helped salvage something there because now there's something positive that came out of it. They got to see good blocking, good push by the offensive line, wide receivers trying to get involved, a good run by the back, and now maybe it'll be a catalyst for them to look at Going forward, watching it on tape, maybe they can keep incorporating that type of a run into their offense. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. It's a gain of four there, and it gives them a new set of downs. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just could pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. We can talk about bend, but don't break all we want. But the defense now... We're going to find out just how flexible and pliable they really are. Can they bounce back after that type of a run, that type of momentum against them, and find a way to slow down this offense? And time to take a look at the Jaguar defense. Dante Fowler missed his rookie season due to injury. So good to have him back on the field. A terrific combination of speed and strength. Dancing to his left. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. It's a tried-and-true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete.
on EA Sports. Today's game features a team that can get it done on the ground. The Lions are top 10 in rushing TDs, and they'll go up against the Jags team that wants to keep the running game in check. With that, let's send you indoors to Ford Field in Detroit as we welcome in our broadcasting team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, first open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit. Today we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Detroit Lions. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. This is pulled. Trucks through it. Oh, man. Right through it. And he's brought down. It'll go as a gain of 12. And it'll be first down Lions. It should go without saying that anytime you run the football well and gain a nice chunk of yardage, that means the offensive line did their job and did it really well. But let's give them a little more credit than that. Because all week long, offensive line meetings, they're going over adjustments, counters, when they when the line shifts, all those things that go along with it. And yet, you still have to be physical. And that's what they did on the first play. And if this offense is going to flow today, certainly the running back will be a key piece. Without a doubt, because they asked their runner to not just do that, but to block, to catch, to help set a tone for their offense. And we take you through the starting defense for Jacksonville. Jared Odrick is fast becoming one of the best anchor defensive ends in the NFL. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. Throwing on third down. Stafford. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Now the fourth-year punter from Appalachian State. That's Sam Martin on to kick. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. 31 yards on the punt there. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. They'll come out in the pistol. time to the tailback and he is going to lose yardage here a loss of a full three yards and now it's second down well so there they went blitz defensively charles and things were paved well coming from the linebacker position i love the way that you described it paved well oftentimes the guy who gets home on the blitz he's gonna get all the credit but his teammates did all the dirty work, right? They ran into people on purpose. They sometimes tugged on jerseys to hold linemen to create space and gaps. And that play finished off really, really well. Well conceived, well designed, and even better executed. They'll give it to him right up the gut. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. The insistence of speed at every position is really seen at the defensive end spot. These guys in the old days were often outside linebackers. They just pushed them forward because they wanted to play fast and get to the quarterback or the running backs quicker than ever before. So he got free of one tackle but couldn't do a whole lot else. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. And a lot of the weight of this offense.
put away your inhibitions let the beast then you just get loose we all young wild and different we can all get hit from a little i know you're terrified by what the future lies but there's no compromising it's my way or the highway we all just slay the lust heart building breaking trust it's gonna get wild when we come out like don't get loud when the come out that's instant give up what your friends think tell they bougie go wait in line with them lame talking real rap tell them break your neck go and bust the Everybody got guilty pleasures, mine just tend to catch me cases, handcuffs, police inspections, lawyers, judges, allegations, turn on your favorite station, you hear the same old song, I feel like, dog, I'm about to drop the bomb, blow one down, pass it around, hey, what with me now, we running well, hey, ain't nobody game, we on the town, hey, never come down, I never come down,